Hey guys, long time no see. Welcome to the long awaited nursery tour. Now, this nursery video is actually going out seven weeks after when I meant for it to go out for you guys. And the reason for that is you'll see at about halfway through this video, I start talking about weird symptoms I'm having. 24 hours later, I was holding a baby in my arms. Theo was born a week and a day early via emergency C section. And the first half of this vlog is very much us just blissfully unaware building the nursery with our friends which we never could have got it done in time without them <laughs> what are you doing in there Baba? this is like gt lessons come full circle I mean... <laughs> and in fact the nursery was not finished when theo arrived probably didn't actually get the nursery finished until he was about three or four weeks old and i've just been spending the rest of the time kind of resting and recovering and getting to know our awesome little baby so yeah here is us actually building the nursery how are you gonna get out <laughs> have you actually screwed it in as well yeah oh no <laughs> you're the baby now <laughs> wait can you get under that no you're not gonna be able to get under that do you lie flat I can't believe we leave you for two minutes and your voice gets stuck. <laughs> I got a little bunting to put like here too. And then we need to get a hook for that. that meant to be? We missed something. Oh no. I missed one of these. Oh, Yay. Oh, baby. Baby. A triple. It looks cute. Yeah, it's got to be the one to put there. Mattress, yeah. Oh, but I need to film it though. Oh, I, oh no, I look. <laughs> no, I look a bit the, gross. Like that? Yeah, perfect. Yay! <laughs> First time making his bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Jade, sir, what about you, Evie? You're deaf, you can't even hear it. <laughs> Building a baby monitor, which looks like a little bird. It's so cute, but complicated. <laughs> so if you guys don't remember, I based this nursery on a build I did in Sims. I kind of built the nursery in Sims and then tried to replicate it the best I could. If you haven't checked that video out already, I'll go ahead and link it in the description below. And you guys can let me know how well you think I've done. If it looks similar to how I planned it out in Sims. Are you about to say we are the draw masters? Yeah. <laughs> it's something on this side, I can feel it stopping here. We are... <laughs> and if you guys remember we were kind of going for this like little woodland creatures theme uh, we'd already had the panel input on the walls we'd already had the wallpaper put on i actually asked you guys for your feedback on that and you guys voted on twitter and i picked the one that you guys went for because i actually agree i think that was the nicest one <laughs> Yeah. The furniture, however, took a long time to build. There was definitely late night pizza whilst we got all of our friends to give us a hand. Uh, we definitely took them out for a meal to say thank you because we were here till midnight trying to finish this off. Hi, Evie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Evie. <laughs> Perfect. And then feed in chair here. Perfect. Well, hello. Hello, Lexi Leverish. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, Evie Beavy. Are you guys ready to become big sisters? You look tired, my love. So today I am going to be finally adding all of baby's clothes and everything to the nursery, which means I need to show you guys me building the nursery first. Also means, first of all, I need to do a little bump update for you guys. So we have, I think today, 10 days to go. 10 days to go until baby is here. Here is how Bump is looking. Bump is, however, currently looking a little worse for wear because I managed to burn myself taking something out of the microwave and basically got a huge blister here. So I'm hoping that heals nicely. Thankfully, I did that after I took my maternity pictures, which I'll also show you now. I'm gonna be posting one of those once they send over the full digital versions. And I really liked them. It was really fun. I never thought I'd do maternity photos, so. Also, this is the wig that I'm planning on bringing in with me when um, we go and have our baby. 
So I don't want to get any glue on it ahead of time, hence why it's going to look a little bit weird in this video. But I'm trying to like shape it to my head, which means I need to wear it a bunch because the heat from your head is what like shapes your wig. So yeah, it's going to look a little bit weird today. I'm sorry. Now that you guys have seen us putting this together, here is what we've got currently. So when Ali finishes his work, I'm going to ask him to help me tie up the tent that's going to come like over the bed here. I'm going to pull the bed forward a little bit, the crib, the crib, uh, forward a little bit as well so that, you know, if God forbid it would fall, we're going to properly secure it. I was going to like use something that didn't damage the plaster, but I figured it's less worrying to damage the plaster and more worrying about a tent falling. So we're going to really secure that. Um, also, I know, and I'm going to say this because I feel like I'm going to get loads of comments about it. I know that when the baby sleeps in here, there will be nothing in here. All of these tidies won't be in here. Sleep, safe sleep means it's literally just baby in here in their sleep sack or in their swaddle or like just nothing else going on. These are all just here for like to look pretty in the meantime. So some bits haven't arrived as of yet, but they're gonna be arriving early next week. One is the big rug for the floor. And I'm gonna be filling this and also filling this. And there is a lot of stuff that's just been wait waiting in here for the opportunity for me to actually be able to put it all away. I had really bad nausea the first two days of this week. It's Wednesday as of me filming this. And I wanted to start this on Monday, but I just, I felt awful. I don't know why I had such bad nausea. And I was Googling, it's like, nausea is a sign of early labor. And I was having like loads of Braxton Hicks as well. I'm like, oh, God, please no. But it's fine. Um, my Braxton Hicks have calmed back down again. The nausea is gone, which means today I can start properly filling this nursery. Oh my gosh, I just realized something else hasn't arrived. My feeding chair. My feeding chair is supposed to live here. I wanted to get a little lump once I'd seen the chair, but that hasn't arrived. That's arriving next week as well. So I didn't order things as early as I should have done, which is a terrible idea because it means you're trying to build furniture in trimester three. I wouldn't recommend that. Definitely try and build everything in trimester two. Like if we didn't have really good friends that came over and helped us build everything, then we would not have a nursery. So. Thank you to my friends. I think I'm gonna replace, look how fast my nails are growing by the way. I think I wanna replace all of these just because I feel like the, the furniture's nice, but when you replace the handles, it just like looks a little bit more premium and it's like a cheap way to make existing furniture look cuter. So I need to count how many of these are and then near where I get my hospital appointments, there is like a, <laughs> an up store. So I'm gonna go to the knob shop and try and get some of these. So I'm excited to fill this one because baby hangers are like so tiny and so cute but two because I have these dividers so I can split based on like what age their child's clothes are. I don't know how long he's gonna fit newborns for because he's tracking so big but some of the clothes I've got are so tiny I will show you guys them that I'm really hoping he fits in them for a while just because they'll be so cute. Okay the good news is I was such an eager beaver that I actually pre-hung all of these clothes like straight after the baby shower months ago so all i need to do is sort them into the piles the other thing we've been eager beavers on and you have to be eager beavers on is enrolling your children in nursery we've enrolled him already for 2024 and that was the earliest they can get him in so you have to basically register for the nursery before your baby's even born at least in the UK you do. That's how like packed they are. And we're not doing a bunch of nursery time because I'm gonna be at home with him. Um, but it's good for him to at least, you know, be around other toddlers, like socialize, all of that kind of thing. So that's the reason that we've done it. Plus, this nursery is so freaking cute. They have chickens, they have like these nature areas, like it's so adorable. And they also teach them mindfulness and emotions and like being able to point to their emotions, um, to explain how they're feeling and all of that kind of thing, which is all the stuff that we wanted to do at home anyway. So it's oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's really nice knowing that the nursery has all that in mind as well. So to me, that looks smaller than this, but this is like size tiny. Like this is one of the ones I thought I would bring into the hospital with me. So I'm kind of confused right now. I'm also, oh Lex, really? I don't know if she wants to play right now, Bubba. These are for when he's in the pram. They're like, like really cozy, warm little like pram rig out. They're both not to three months. I don't know, they both look really, really big to me. 
but I'm gonna hang them up there all the same, maybe in their own little area. I just thought they're so adorable. Like, can you imagine him in the prom with this on with the little hands and the little, little hood? I just think it'll be so cute. This one has little bear ears as well. And the dogs have decided to do a bottle royale in the middle of my hanging. Girls, girls, no. You're gonna have to do that. Take that outside. Take that outside, please. are all like the ones I've hung are like rig outs more so so like you know where they've got like a few bits to them like look how long that one is like how is he ever gonna get legs long enough to fit in that I don't know um but yeah these are all like rig outs whereas all of the baby grows I think make more sense to put here because when I change him I think I'll also have to like change his baby grow quite often because I think you get poop on it a lot so I feel like this area makes the most sense in babies have a lot of stuff i love these little faces and they're all the tiny ones these ones are a little bit too big for now these are all the muslin towels of which i think there's more of but then i've got like hats i've got um like little little socks and bibs and towels and dressing gowns and i'm like where, where am I gonna put everything? I don't know. I need a system. Like, how do I not get all the socks lost? So the good news is I found some boxes that we used to use in our bathroom to like sort things out. The bad news is they're all kind of gross. So I'm gonna go put them in a wash now and hopefully we can use them to sort baby things. Okay, so we're losing the light, but I think we're getting there. Basically, I had to start late today because I got what I call spicy legs, which is when my circulation is really painful in my legs and I have to like lie with them raised to make the like prickliness go away. So I'm a little bit later today, but it's fine because I need to show you guys the rug when it arrives. There's no rug in here right now. And I still need Ali to put up the tent there, which will shift the crib along a little bit. But there's some stuff I've added. Uh, this is going to be for laundry. So like all of the stuff that needs to go in the wash when babe takes it off, it's probably going to be a lot of it. This is just again, temporary, but I figured I'd need a lamp or something in here. And this is all bath stuff. So this isn't even going to live in here. But um, look how cute these are, little, I think I've shown you guys these actually for the bath and then a bath thermometer and then you put this in the bath and then the baby goes in here. And I actually kind of like the look of these in the wardrobe because I don't have anything to hang on this bottom section yet just because I don't have enough clothes for him yet. But I wanted to show you guys these because I don't know if I've shown you these yet. There's a store called Newbie um and i just really love them and they do these cute little hats they do these little matching bear socks i got loads of stuff from them um, hung up as well and it's just really cute stuff so let's get all of this and all those so these are from taz from when she went to ireland how cute are they <laughs> okay so finish off the final few drawers this is just to store some bits and bobs. This I'm afraid, <laughs> but we're gonna try it. Um, this is like bathing stuff. I have to show you this because I don't think it kind of looks like baby bear among us. I don't know, I thought it did. But this is to like put him in once he's all dry and just probably just get a cute picture. Really adorable. And then middle drawer, this is kind of like medicine me medical -y area. So you've got like, Little booger, sucker out, um, like creams. This is a special dodie that you can use to administer medicine, which we might have to do. Uh, some of this stuff's gonna be like coming into the hospital with us, to be honest, we still need to pack a hospital bag. And then, yeah, I think that's more or less everything in here. So it's kind of finishing touches now over by the crib, like the sleepy sacks here. These are some little PJs we've got and then some spare bedding as well. And then I'm like, can I move the bear up there? Would that look scary? Let's try it. I think it looks kind of cute, especially because the um, tenity thing is going to be going there. We've got the few books that we've got so far. Um, this is an absolute classic. And a diffuser feels like a good idea in a room where you've also got poopy nappies. I went for this bin. I think it's called the upper booby ubi bin because you just use one bag um and you can like seal it and like lock it as well we are completely losing the light but it's fine because we're going to try this little fella in just a moment okay let's see what 
Ali thinks of everything so far. It's <laughs> my Oh, it's so nice and I th baby. I think once the tent is there and the rug on the floor, it's going to feel a lot more like together. So but when I'm like sat here and the lamp like is on, yeah, it feels really cozy it's in here really already. Cozy. It feels really nice. Like it's not even showing as nicely on the camera, coziness as it really is. Everything fits so well. It so. does, it looks so cute. <laughs> Poor Ali, bless him, is trying to do four videos a day at the moment. So you can do three weeks paternity leave. Yeah, so he can properly take time off. Yeah. I'll, I'll be able to do it for sure. But, I know. Uh, I'm looking forward just to being in the house and actually not working and just being with you and the baby. Aww. Okay, right, final thing to show you before we finish off the nursery, which we can't do today because I can't stand up anymore and we need to get this stuff today. harder. Yeah, my, my legs are killing. But if you switch the lamp off... This one. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> you can do loads of different settings. That's How so pretty cool. is it? Oh. <sighs> but it's gonna have the best nursery ever. I think it rotates as well. Yeah, hello. hello. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> It's so pretty, isn't it? If he doesn't sleep well in here, then there's nothing we can do. I know. I like this colour. Is it yeah, this one? No, I like this one. one. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's so, so pretty, isn't it? And it has a little night light underneath as well, so you can yet like, use it to That's be able so to see cute. at night time. It's so cute. I love it. <laughs> the music makes me want to cry, though. <laughs> <laughs> Especially just imagining it being here. Yeah, I can't wait. Oh gosh, that was getting more emotional. <laughs> so what started as a vlog that was meant to be me showing you us getting our nursery ready for a baby there's actually a baby here. <laughs> but I don't mind because it kind of works out perfectly because before I was showing you a nursery based on what I thought would work. Whereas now I know what actually works because I have a little baby now and I'm really enjoying motherhood. Plus it meant we got to get some more bits finished like this that goes over the crib that he's currently hanging out in. Although right now he really is just hanging out in it. He doesn't sleep in here. I, I, he's been in there twice in his whole life when I've put him down just for a second because um, you have the baby at the side of you. He's seven weeks and four days old today so he sleeps at the side of us every night in bed and he probably will do until he's at least six months old so yeah this is like a new little adventure for him as well <laughs> hanging out in this room uh but let me show you the bits that have changed or the bits that i love so his wardrobe um now has way more things in it we got a lot of gifts from friends a lot of people sent things once he was born so I've segmented them off as I showed you before and there's already some things he's grown out of but this is kind of what we've got currently. This is actually the same um, gown that my dad was christened in and me and my brother were christened in too. I'm not sure if we're gonna get Theo christened yet um, but we do want to get some pictures of him in this. Put his trousers here and yeah there's a lot more things here now. These are his little socks and scratch mitts. He's got like a bunch of shoes now. Um, his little hats go here and his little bibs here. I don't use bibs that much because he usually has muslin with him. <clears throat> when we brought him home, we had to like rush out and buy like some extra tiny things because he didn't fit anything. Everything was way too big for him, but he's grown now. But this is how tiny he was when he came home. Like, look how small. For comparison, this is how much he's grown. So this bit used to be like, this is where he ends now, but he used to end here. So, and this would obviously like, yeah, even smaller to be honest. He was diddy when he first came home. So yeah, I keep all the things he is growing out of in here because it makes me sad. It's weird, you're kind of torn between wanting them to grow and like be these little happy, fat, gorgeous babies, but also then really missing this little tiny newborn stage. And it goes so fast. The past seven weeks have just been a blur. Like every day I've sat down wanting to edit this video, I've never got a chance to do it because I can't stop staring at him and he demands so much attention and he's just amazing. I love him. He's the chillest, 
most amazing little baby. So we got gifted way more books. I've already started reading to him. We got a load more of this stuff, like to help with like his skin. This is for Nappy Rush, it's literally godly. This is his antibiotics that he's been on since birth because of his kidney. Um, we actually have a scan this week. We play little songs for him while he's getting changed. <laughs> and he's already moved up from the nappies that I put in, the zero to the size one now. This is where we'll come in at nighttime and feed him. And this is finally up now as well. Um, it is very secure. Done. We actually got a handyman to do it just to make sure it wouldn't fall. Um, so here is like his little crib that he'll be in when he's older. It also doesn't, if it falls, it doesn't go in the crib. It, it goes behind it because it's, it's far enough out from the wall. But I just really wanted a tent over the crib, which I absolutely love. I just think it's really like, I don't know, old fashioned and beautiful and whimsical. And this is his little baby monitor. It looks like a little bird, which I just thought fit the room really well and it spies like directly down on him. Annoyingly, this room is kind of dark, so I'm sort of losing the light a little bit already, but we both absolutely love his nursery. I can't wait till he spends a bit more time in here. My mum and dad are getting him this special like tent for Christmas that has like high contrast little things that you lift up because he's really good at seeing contrast at the moment. So he's gonna get to interact with that. We're gonna put that on the floor in here. Also the rug, he's getting a bit restless as well. Um, I forgot to show you guys this rug. We ended up swapping out the original one that I picked and um, we went for this one instead because I figured when he's older he can put like his little cars on it like a little racetrack which I just thought why not get one that he can interact with and enjoy interacting with more there's also the fox one under there but uh because <laughs> the nursery is used now you can see how much things are getting crumpled and messed up but that's the whole point it's a lived in nursery not like a perfect instagram post you know so we have one final addition to his nursery which is the little evie plushie which is now available to pre-order i'm gonna drop a link to that in the description below it's turned out better than i could ever have imagined it's just so freaking cute i absolutely love it so Please go ahead and check out the description for this. I'm gonna pop this in his crib with him. There we go, in the crib with him. She's definitely his favorite animal in the house right now. So I think she's also gonna be his favorite teddy too. So this whole vlog ended up being so much later than I originally planned because we ended up going in for an emergency C-section. If you wanna hear why and how that happened, then let me know in the comments below. But he's getting pretty restless now, so we're gonna head out. So let me know what you guys think of the nursery and I'll see you guys soon.